One of the really goofy things about endometriosis is that unlike most diseases, the severity of the disease and the severity of the symptoms have nothing to do with each other. You know, most diseases in medicine, the more severe the disease, the more severe the symptoms. Not so with endometriosis. I've taken patients to surgery who have huge masses of endometriosis and absolutely no symptoms at all. And on the other hand, I've taken patients to surgery who have excruciating pain with their periods, they can't even have sex because they're having so much pain, and you get in there surgically and there are a couple of little implants of endometriosis. We don't know why that is, there are a lot of theories behind it, but the bottom line is, is that you can't assess the stage of endometriosis by assessing the severity of the symptoms. So there are four different stages of endometriosis, stage one, two, three, and four. They correspond to minimal disease, mild disease, moderate disease, and severe disease. Now what a lot of people will tell you is, is that they get in there and they just get, they get a gestalt. They say, well, this looks like pretty bad disease, so we'll call it severe disease. Well, that's not really how you stage it. There's actually a scoring system put out by the American Society for Reproductive Medicine, and it goes by points. So a score of one to five points is stage one disease or minimal disease. Six to 15 points is stage two or mild disease. 16 to 40 points is stage three disease or moderate disease and above 40 points is severe disease or stage four disease. And every type of implant, the size of the implant, the location of the implant, whether there's a cyst of endometriosis in the ovary, and then also when you look at scar tissue formation, adhesion formation, those determine the amount of points that a patient gets for each type of lesion. So that's really the appropriate way to stage endometriosis. Now the goofy thing about that is, is that there's no real straight line correlation between the stage of disease and the chance for fertility later. We do think that if you've got stage one or stage two disease, that the chance for pregnancy is reduced by about 30%. And if you've got stage three or stage four disease, the chance for pregnancy is reduced by about 50%. We also think in terms of recurrence, that if you've got stage one or stage two disease, the chance of recurrence is about 50% in four years. Whereas if you had stage three or stage four disease, the chance of recurrence is about 75% in two years.